Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul for you guys and I'm going to be sharing some really gorgeous kits in this haul. Um, I don't really think I have any sticker icons so it's really going to be primarily kits. Um, I've really been trying to not purchase icons as much lately just because I have so much in my collection and while I see like adorable icons all the time that I want to buy, I just really really don't need more of them so I've been trying to be better about that. Um, so yeah, I do have quite a lot of kits for you guys today and um, I actually have a lot of stuff to haul but because I don't like my videos to go over like 15-20 minutes um, I'm going to separate it into two different videos so be on the lookout for part two in hopefully just a few days and yeah let's just go ahead and jump right in with the first kit. The first shop I've got here is Paper Blush Bar, and I haven't purchased from her in quite a while, like I think over a year, and so I was super excited when her shop had like reopened a couple months ago, and I saw some really gorgeous fall kits, so I definitely had to pick one up, and um, before I get into the kit, I wanted to show you guys the sampler that came with my order. She included a ton of these little icons in that very dainty style that is like her signature style, and um, moving on to the kit. This kit is called Thankful, and I'm definitely considering using this during Thanksgiving week, and I love this color scheme. It's very light and very pastel, but also very fall with the orange and this little splash of like turquoise, I guess. And the quote box here says, so very thankful, and this kit is in a rose gold foil. On this page, we have half boxes. We've got icons, a few washi strips, and then a Monday through Sunday box, a habit tracker. I think this is a large flag. Um, two additional flags here, and then a weekend banner. Here we've got another foiled page, and this one has all the headers. Um, she's got these bow checklists and date covers, some additional headers that say this week, don't forget an important. And I think we have some either headers or washi strips on these two sides, and then a quarter box in the corner. The last page here has the bottom washi, which unfortunately is not foiled. And then we've got some washi strips, a large notes box. So I think you can kind of do whatever you want with that. And then some different length um, flags here at the bottom. That was the only thing that I purchased. She was having a sale, so it was actually a pretty good deal. And so I decided to go ahead and pick up this kit. The next shop that I purchased from is called Nicole Hutch Designs, and I've been following her for a while on Instagram, but for some reason I have not made a purchase until very recently, and so yeah, I'm really excited to be trying out her kits. And in addition to my kit, I actually also picked up this little sheet of car icons. I feel like I don't really have these like tiny car icons that match um, different colored kits, so I decided to pick this up. I already used a few of them um, because I had already actually recorded this entire haul and then all the footage got deleted, so this is my second time recording it and um, in between these times I have already used some of these stickers and moving on to the kit I think this one is called um, actually I'm not sure maybe like autumn leaves or something um, I'm just guessing but um, the kit actually comes with a set of these date dots which is perfect so I don't have to find ones that match on my own and then um, this is really interesting she included like an extra strip of washi I think it's for she said it's for the 2019 to 2020 hourly planner I don't have that planner but I feel like I could still use this by just putting down both strips of the bottom washi on like both sides of the planner so I'll kind of like explain this a little bit more when I get to the washi page. So here we have the eight full boxes and the quote box here says leaves are falling, autumn is calling. And I just love this kit so much because it really reminds me of like the kits that I used to use back when I first started planning. There's no fashion girls or foil and the boxes are just, you know, more floral and like patterned. It just gave me this like old school planning vibe. So I really wanted to kind of bring that back. Um, down here we have some headers and quarter boxes like even the font that she chooses to use for her headers like are just reminiscent of um, kits that I would use like a couple years ago and then on this page we have some checklists we have icons a ton of text stickers and then all of these functional icons at the bottom and we've got some sidebar stuff a Monday through Sunday box two habit trackers a movie marquee and then this hello weekend banner on this page, we have half boxes, quarter boxes, and she's got two different sizes for these quarter boxes. Like these ones are just a little bit thicker compared to these. We have eight to do headers and then a set of glitter headers here at the bottom. And I love how some of the boxes are glitter outlined and then some are not. And the last page here is the bottom washi. So like I was saying, um, she includes the bottom washi like regular where there's a longer strip and then a shorter strip, but she also gave this one. So I think it's like, I think if you wanted to use two long strips instead of this shorter one, um, that is definitely 
definitely an option and I might actually do that because I've been liking I have the new Erin Condren and so it's got this like little calendar at the bottom and for some of my spreads I've actually been covering it up and so um, I might actually consider using this and just bringing it all the way to the side to cover up this little calendar um, so anyways, that is the kit from Nicole Hutch Designs. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to using this kit pretty soon. Um, I'm starting to get into the fall spreads, um, or I will be getting there pretty soon. So I think um, I'll have a chance to finally plan with this kit um, pretty soon. The next shop that I've got for this haul is called Lemon and Honey Studio. And this is a shop that I just recently discovered and I'm really excited to share with you guys. I actually found her shop because I was looking for a Halloween kit. And for this year, I decided to use a monochromatic kit for Halloween. So that's what I was searching for on Etsy when I stumbled across her shop. So the reason I decided to do this is because I think maybe a month ago or so, one of my subscribers asked me if I've ever done a monochromatic themed spread and I realized I haven't really done anything like that. I did kind of do that for a Halloween spread a few years ago, um, but that kit still had like some purples and some orange in it. So it wasn't truly like just grayscale. And yeah, so that's where I came up with the idea to do like a monochromatic theme this year. And um, anyways, this kit is just so perfect. The first thing that came with my order is this little sampler sheet that matches this kit that I'll be using. And it comes with some to-do headers in this really cutesy font. We've got a couple quarter boxes, a half box, a scallop label, and then some icons on the side. This kit is called Trick or Treat, as you can probably imagine, um, and it's Halloween themed. It's so perfect. We've got this little ghost. We've got like a tombstone, a skull, a pumpkin, and like this flask that says Trick or Treat and has like a skull on it. And I just love it so much because it's clearly Halloween themed, but it's also not like too scary. Like it still kind of has that element of being kind of cute. Um, so I really, really like that about this kit. On this page, we have the bottom washi, which is two different strips. We've got some third boxes and then a set of date covers at the top. Here we've got her, um, what she calls like the base kit. And so her base kit is really just these two sheets. And this one comes with a ton of functional items. So we've got movie marquee, Monday through Sunday box. We've got a three square checklist, some habit trackers, a weekend banner. We've got a ton of icons here, some flags. And then here in the corner, we've got some square check flags. On this page, the second page of like the base kit, um, we have a, another full box that says trick or treat. So I feel like I have so many full boxes, I don't know which ones I'm going to be using because it comes with 10, um, which is a lot. So I don't know which one I'm gonna have to get rid of because I really like them all, um, but I guess I'll figure that out. And then we've got some half boxes. These are, I think, little scallop headers. They're super cute, I don't know if you can see it. We've got some small flags here and then a bunch of quarter boxes and third boxes here at the bottom. So that's it for the Halloween kit. I also decided to pick up a fall themed kit and this one is called Pumpkin Season. It's so cute, I love these colors and I love the quality of her kits. They print really vibrant. And um, she included another sampler again that matches the kit with um, a full box, a quarter box, some meal icons, a scallop label, and then some different text icons here on the side. Um, the full boxes here look like this and the quote box in the center says hey there pumpkin which is so adorable and I love this little scene down here with the wheelbarrow and the pumpkins I think that's so adorable um, I just love all of these boxes so much and this color um, here we have the bottom washi which again is two strips we've got third boxes and date covers I love the cutesy font that she uses for the date covers in this kit and then here we've got again the two base sheets so on this one we have all the functional icons we have a movie marquee sidebar stuff um, check boxes and then checklists we have a weekend banner and then a ton of icons of different sizes and shapes and then we have the next and then we have the last sheet here which has um, an extra full box again this one says pumpkin season we've got a we've got seven half boxes here and I love that some of them have this little stitching on the inside I don't know if you can see that we've got the scallop headers again and then the um, quarter and third boxes at the bottom so similar style or similar format to the other kit and yeah I really love the format that she uses and also just like the designs that she has so I definitely would highly suggest you guys check out her shop um, I just randomly stumbled across it and I just thought it was such a great little find the stickers that I have for the remainder of this haul were all graciously sent to me by the shop owner so that I could try them out and share them with you guys. And all of these shops are new to me, which is always really exciting for me because I love trying out different shops and different kits and things like that. So the first one I have here is called Happy Sherpa Papery, and she sent along quite a few kits um, to share, and I really love all of them. So. 
I can't wait to jump into those. Um, but first, she also sent along a few text stickers and icons. So we've got a sheet of these date night and coffee run stickers. So this column here says date night, and then this one here says coffee run. We've got a sheet of these me time stickers. Um, she's like doing a face mask. We've got this really cute hair dryer, an alarm clock, and then these ones say wake up and makeup. And here we've got these speech bubble icons, which are again, really cute. This one is more of a thought bubble. And I have pulled in speech bubbles in planning before, but I don't use it that often. So maybe this is something I can start to incorporate. And then she sent along the sheet of the nail polish and bath stickers. So we've got a few um, different colors of nail polish and then different size bathtubs. Moving on to the kits, this first one is called Autumn Forest. And included with the kit is this little icon sheet. So it's got a ton of different things like a camera. Um, we've got a coffee, a shopping bag, um, envelope, etc., And it matches the colors of the kit. She also included a sheet of matching date covers and additional icons that match the kit. And then we've got the set of little things in four different colors. Here we've got the full boxes on this page. Um, this is a, as you can see, autumn themed kit. And the quote box here says colorful autumn day. And I love the combination of the oranges and the purples and the red and the blue. I just think this is like so perfect for fall. Here we have the half boxes. Oh, it's upside down. We've got half boxes and headers at the top on this page. Okay, now we're back to this way, I think. Um, sorry, these are all over the place because um, I had already filmed this haul and put everything back and I'm just like refilming it. So anyways, here we've got the full box checklist and these are like little acorns instead of like hearts and bows. So I love that it matches the theme. And then we've got the bottom washi, some washi strips here, and these are pattern headers in the corner. On this page, we have um, a bunch of functional items. We've got flags of different sizes. We have both six acorn and three acorn checklists. We have a weekend banner, some circle icons, four quarter boxes, and then sidebar stuff, build do stickers. And yeah, so it comes with quite a lot of stickers in each kit. I'm not sure if she offers like mini and full size kits or if it's just like one option or if it's a la carte, but she definitely offers quite a lot of different stickers in her kit. This next kit that I got from Happy Sherpa Papery is called Poppy Love, and I really love this kit because of these like red colors. Um, I don't really use red very often in my planning, and so it's kind of fun to have something that is, you know, just not a color scheme I tend to gravitate towards. So on this one, this kit is actually printed on a different paper. Um, the autumn kit is on matte, like a regular removable matte paper is what it feels like, and this one is on vinyl. So with vinyl paper, you can't really use gel pens. You have to use some form of a marker, and so the two that I usually gravitate towards are these two. Um, this one is a marking pen that I got from Taiwan, so can't really get it around here. Although I have heard that you might be able to find it online. And then this one is a Sharpie permanent marker. I just got it from Target and um, it works really well on vinyl paper. It won't smear. And um, yeah, so those are the recommended pens to use. And Okay, so moving back to the kit, this one came with a set of glitter headers and I just love the chunky look that she uses. Similar to the other kit, she included a set of these um, little things. And then here we have the eight full boxes. The quote box here says, she always had to stop for roadside poppies. And again, I just love this like red and black color scheme, not something that I tend to use often. So I'm excited to use that maybe towards the spring. And then here we have the full box checklist. We have the washi and washi strips. Here we have the headers and the half boxes, and I love the font that she chose for the headers. And then on here, we have the flags of different sizes. We have the um, check flags, the weekend banner, which again, I love this little font that she used. It's so cute. We've got the circle icons, quarter boxes, um, Monday through Sunday box, build do stickers, and habit trackers. This next kit is called Tropical Leaves, and this one is printed on matte paper. And um, this one, I also really love. I love the pink and the green color scheme. Um, this one came with a sheet of these little icons similar to the first kit. The little things here. We've got the eight full boxes here, and the quote box says smile more. And I love this one with the girl and her dress. It's just so fabulous. Here we have the full box checklist. And, oh, this one actually belongs to a different kit, so I'll hold on to that. Um, this one is the functional sheet, so we've got the flags, the check flags, sidebar trackers, quarter boxes, um, weekend banner, and circle icons. On this page, we have the headers and the half boxes, and then the last page has the bottom washi, washi strips, and then these pattern headers on the side. 
Okay, moving on to my last kit from Happy Sherpa Papery. Um, this one is called Unicorn, and I actually picked this one out because I just think it's so gorgeous and so cute. I love the colors and just how fun it is. So first it came with this little sheet of um, icons again, and this one is on vinyl paper. And then we have a sheet of the little things, and this one came with the glitter headers. Again, I love the chunky glitter headers that she uses. And then here we have the full boxes. Look how cute these are. I'm so obsessed. Um, these little unicorns are so cute. I love the mix of the pastel colors with the dark blue. And then we've got this quote box that says, hello, gorgeous. Um, again, love these colors. They're so fun. We've got these um, heart checklists and they have just a little accent of gold glitter. We have the bottom washi, washi strips and pattern headers. Again, I love this so much. These little clouds are adorable. And then we have the headers and the half boxes. And I love how these half boxes are a little bit different. They have like the little scallop edging, whereas these ones have the gold um, trim. And then here we have the functional items. So the flags, the heart checklist, the sidebar stuff, the weekend banner, um, circle icons, and then the um, quarter boxes at the bottom. So yeah, I am in love with all of the kits that she sent along. Thank you so, so much for sharing your gorgeous kits with me. And um, I think I'm going to be pulling this one in to my planning pretty soon in the next couple weeks. So definitely expect to see that one on my channel pretty soon. So yeah, I hope you guys found some things you would like to check out. And um, yeah, that was everything that I got from Happy Sherpa Papery. These next stickers that I've got are from a shop called Heather B. Co. And the owner of the shop, Heather, decided to send these to me because she saw that in my planning, I was having a really hard time working with the hexagon here in the top corner of the new Erin Condren. So she decided to send along these awesome little stickers to fix that problem. Um, she sent these um, hexagon stickers so that you can cover up the hexagon in the top corner. And these ones are quite a bit larger than the hexagon printed on the planner, but it does take up this entire space in the top Top corner so I think that's really perfect and it comes with a variety of colors pinks and we have neutrals um, pastels etc and then she also sent, sent along these um, monthly stickers that I've been using already so it goes from January through December as you can see I've already used a couple I think I use like one July and one of the August ones because that's where I've been planning so far and um, I've just been sticking the monthly stickers at the top like I would cover up this little part and then I would put down one of the, um, the script stickers above it so that I still had the month written on my planner and yeah I really love this font that she used uses and I think it's like super gorgeous in my planner so I really love that she sent that along and um, you know really thought about what I needed so thank you so much Heather and if you guys would like to check these out her shop name is Heather B Co the last shop that I've got for you guys today is Panda Prince Paper, and the owner's name is Hannah. She sent along a little surprise package for me with all of her cute icon stickers. The first thing she sent along is this little die cut with this little rice ball character, and it says, you only need rice, which is so cute. And then we've got um, a sheet of these uh, rice ball three heart checklists. Um, this is the sampler that came with the um, surprise package and it's got quite a few different icons. So we've got like a meal prep one, this really cute floral planner, a couple text stickers. This one says plan for the week and this one says yum yums. And then we've got these two little rice balls on a movie date, which is so cute. We've got an instant pot and then a coffee sticker, etc. So lots of cute things on here. And then moving on to the sticker sheets that she sent along, of course, she sent this martini and beer sheet. And I think this one is so cute. This rice ball is holding the glass of beer and it says cheers. And then this one, the two of them are like cheersing and it says clink. So cute. And then here we have the movie sheet. So the rice balls are going to the movies, having their popcorn, etc. And I love this little film clapper that she included. This one is for meal prepping. So we've got two different varieties. This one with all the boxes of food. And then this one has like a little like lunch plate, I guess. And here we have the social media sheet where the rice balls holding different icons. We've got YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And then um, she sent two other ones. This one is the smoothie one. It's got smoothie in a blender and also in a cup. And it says smoothie time. And the last sheet here is the instant pot sheet. So I do have an instant pot. I don't use it as frequently as I would like to or, or as I should, um, but it does come in handy every now and then so yeah this would be perfect to mark when I actually use my instant pot so yeah that is everything from panda prince paper thank you so much Hannah for sending these goodies along they're so adorable and yeah that concludes my haul for today I know there was quite a lot of things um, quite a lot of kits but I hope you guys enjoyed this and there will be a part two coming up pretty soon um, just because I had so many things that I felt like I couldn't fit into one haul so let me know if you guys have any questions as usual thank you so so much
much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed um, checking out some of these things and I will always leave any coupon codes that I have down in the description box. So make sure you check that out. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.